Uh, it's 5.30. We'd like to start our meeting on time. <laughs> I'll stand for Mr. Jividen. Yes. <laughs> 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 Sorry, we had, we'll start with our call to order. Call the roll, please. Uh, Mr. Cohen's currently absent. Mr. Davis? Here. Mrs. Dodson? Here. Mr. Hofer? Here. Mr. Jividen? I'm here now. Mrs. McDonald? Here. Mrs. McGraw? Mr. Campbell? Here. Mr. Fowler? Here. Okay. And we'll next start on our thing. It's the Pledge of Allegiance. Behind you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Our visitors, our next topic is visitors' comments. No comments. Okay. We'll go right on to our treasurer's reports. Thank you. Item number one is a recommendation to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of November 17th, 2022, as presented. So moved. Second. Comments? Call the roll, please. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Motion passes. Item number two is a recommendation to approve the financial reports, check register, bank reconciliation, and comparative financial report for the month of November 2022 as presented, subject to audit. So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> Any comments? Call the roll, please. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Motion passes. Item number three is a recommendation to approve a resolution requesting tax advances from the county treasurer pursuant to Ohio Revised Code 321.24 for tax year 22, payable in 23. So moved. Second. Comments? Call the roll, please. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Motion passes. Item number four is a recommendation for the board to set the organizational and regular meeting for January 2023. So moved. Motion. Motion. January 19th. So 19th. The 19th? Uh, the recommendation is to set it for January 19th, 2023. I'm sorry about that. Okay, that sounds right. <laughs> we'll just the whole month. That's what you do with the whole month. Close <laughs> enough. Uh, let the record show Mr. Cohen has arrived at 536. Comments? Oh, do we need a motion? We need a motion. motion? Uh, so moved. Second. Comments? Call the roll, please. Oh, was Mrs. McDonald the second? Or was it does not. McGraw. Okay. McGraw. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Over here. Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Uh, let me circle back and get Mr. Cohen? Yes. And Mr. Fowler? Yes. <laughs> Motion passes. <clears throat> Item number five is a recommendation for the board to approve a president pro tem for Portage Lakes Career Center from January 1st, 2023 through the election of officers at the 2023 organizational meeting. So moved. Second. And the discussion. Um, we have to recommend somebody? Yeah. I recommend <laughs> Mr. Campbell. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Any others? Any other recommendations? <laughs> it's highly coveted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to compete with that. <laughs> Corruptive level of power. Okay. <laughs> Bob Campbell's up. And so we're going to go ahead and we can vote. make. Yep. Uh, uh, motion. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mr. Cohen? 
Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Fowser? Yes. Motion passes. Item number six is a recommendation to approve scholarship donations uh, for our Patricia Nicole Vargo Excellence in Nursing Scholarship as well as our George Garman Scholarships as listed. So moved. Second. Questions? Call the roll, please. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. The motion passes. That concludes the treasury session. Okay. We're ready for the superintendent now. Okay. Well, I think we're waiting for a special guest to come in. <laughs> <laughs> Santa. Oh, hello, Santa. <laughs> and then the I clerk has asked me to speak again this year during this busy time at the Festival of Lights. Yes. And I have the honor of introducing some very special individuals here today. This is cause of getting the rest of my paperwork. <laughs> I wanted to start off tonight by congratulating Jessica Love and John Starchy for being our Students of the Month. When asked a few questions, what Jessica's... Jessica, would you like to stand? <laughs> sure. What are some of Jessica's hobbies? Playing basketball, tennis, painting, swimming. I'll keep all those in mind here in a couple weeks. In your free time, what do you like to do? I like to paint, relax, and shop. shop. <laughs> if I could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? The Maldives, by the beach. Very pleasant. Oh. If you could be an animal for a day, what would you be and why? I would like to be a shark. Because they are the biggest predator in the ocean. <laughs> oh, my. Very nice. Mrs. Claus, do you have some paperwork for me? <laughs> well, that's very nice. <laughs> 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 uh, Jessica is in our med tech program and a very, very well written, um, respectful letter pharmacy program that we introduced. Uh, a lot of it has to do with Jessica and what she did for the program. Coming in early, coming in when she didn't have to be at school at all, setting those things up. So we really appreciate it. We appreciate you at the school. You do, you do a lot. You do a lot. So thank you and congratulations. John. <clears throat> what are your hobbies and interests outside of school? Working and relaxing. Total opposites. In your free time, what do you like to do? Relax and play games. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? Japan. If I could be, the animal is one of my favorite. If you could be any animal for a day, what would it be and why? I would be a cat because they are cool. Oh. And they sleep cool. <laughs> <laughs> you were stuck on a desert island. Who would you want to be stuck with and why? Nobody. So they aren't stuck on an island. <laughs> Very thoughtful. Very thoughtful. John's in our fire program and one of our true leaders there, according to Tote, and also was an add on from Stark State uh, on the recommendation. So that was that's good. That's very, very nice. Yeah. That program, you know, those lots of instructors working differently with these young people. So, and you're standing out there. All right, congratulations. <laughs> 
We will see you all next year. Swag I've been invited to speak at the Festival of Life. Hopefully Mrs. Claus brought the right paperwork for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you, Santa. Thing. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> and now if you all would like to leave, you may, to get, to get out of here the rush of the Festival of Lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I understand. <laughs> Thank you very horns. much for coming. Thank you. Go Longhorns. <laughs> Big test. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'll proceed. Um, um, item number two, retirement. Um, we, I'm recommending the board accept um, the retirement of Terry Rick, our director of building and grounds, effective March 31st. Um, I do want to say a, a few things about Mr. Rick. Um, he's been here 10 years, and um, since 2019, we appointed him as the director of building and grounds and, and because of that we were able to really secure a nice vision for our facility and where we want to go. His ability as an electrician prior to coming here has lended itself well and saved PLCC a tremendous amount of money because of the work that he has led here and it probably culminated um, tonight because last year at this time we had generators running um, the displays that you see tonight and that that caused um, two people someone in in the evening and then late evening to come in and turn them on and off and make sure that they were filled with gas but uh, Mr. Rick led the electrical kids through that process and now we have land outlets throughout um, our property so we're very very fortunate um, mm. for for times to come and Mr. Rick will be greatly missed and um, but he's promised to come back and, and sub when it's not fishing season so um, um, please accept uh, my recommendation for his retirement so moved. second Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Motion passes. Item number three, I'm recommending a part-time adult education secretary to start at the first of the year um, to provide secretarial duties to our adult ed much needed program. Um, so please accept my recommendation. So moved. Second. Comments? Call the roll, please. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Motion passes. Item number four, donations. Um, we've started something, I don't know if you've noticed this year, trying to assign a value for the donations. And, and these two particular things will help to benefit the HVAC and welding programs um, from Midwest Fabrication and Dakin Comfort, a man of furnace. It's recommended that the board approve the equipment donations as listed. So moved. Second. Questions? Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. The motion passes. Item number five, donations for Festival of Lights. I believe we mentioned last year that when um, we had people drive through, they wanted to know what they could do to donate. And this year, you see um, the above listed. Uh, particularly um, Ohio Gradings, who is a great new partner for us, both as um, working with our classrooms and employing our, our, our students. So I'm recommending that the board approve the donations wow. listed above. So moved. Second. Very Questions? nice uh, amount of donations there. Yeah. It, it, recognized. It's amazing. Uh, call the roll, please. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mrs. McDonald? Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Motion passes. Item number six, um, the 23-24 school calendar. Um, I'm recommending to be approved. And again, as always, um, the four districts plus ours work together to at least get a winter and a spring break that is common um, and get as close as we can with our calendar for our students. So I'm recommending that the board approve our, our new calendar. 
So moved. Second. Any questions? Call the roll, please. It was oh. I missed that. I, I was. Oh, you did. Okay. Thank you. I jumped in there. I got to do it one time. Sounds good. Uh, Mr. Cohen. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Mrs. Dodson. Yes. Mr. Hofer. Yes. Mr. Jividen. Yes. Mrs. McDonald. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> McGraw. <laughs> Mr. Campbell. Yes. Um, yes. I yes too. Yeah. Motion passes. <laughs> <laughs> Item number seven, we do not um, need to vote on this. It's just a first reading, but all of the four policies are revisions. Two of them are so minor that it's just um, indicating a legal update um, reference, not even any changing in wording, but they're all policies that we currently have with some minor revisions. So we will vote on those next month. Okay. And the next, <coughs> next topic is new business. Do we have any new business? Anything new? Well, just the Festival of Lights tonight. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In 12 <laughs> minutes. But who's watching? Good time. Uh, board member in input. Start with on, on our right. The, far, the right of the right. Um, just can't believe that uh, we are at the end of this calendar year. Um, Festival of Lights looks great. Um, Super excited to, to check it out and happy holidays, everybody. Yep. Happy holidays, everyone. We've got to kind of wrap it up. Yeah, and so I'm the one who's dropping off next school year from Coventry. So Coventry will be back to the two representatives. I just want to say it was really super cool for me to be in here and to meet, you know, both, you know, Chris and Kim or, you know, personally. Mm -hmm. They've been on school board. I know I mentioned this, I think, in the first meeting. It is kind of cool to meet you all in person. Um, it's kind of strange that I've watched a lot of school board meetings online and so on, you know, like, and I've, so I've seen a lot of you, you know, and I've heard, read a lot. And so it's just kind of cool to like be in a group with this. I do have to say, it's also like been very eye-opening. I mean, Springfield, you know, it, you know, as good as, as you know, it's on Coventry, but we've had a lot of financial problems and there's been a lot of other issues with like um, uh, community tensions and all kinds of stuff. So it's really nice to see a different kind of like way that a board and an organization can work. Coventry's in a really good place right now, you know, um, but it took us a long time to get there. But this is just cool to come, you have one levy. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. that you, and It's just permanent, you know, you don't have just like just there. It's crazy and I know it's an old one, so you know, the funding is a different thing, but um, it's just awesome to be able to come in and just see like, an operation, the money's there, this community, the parents are supportive of the programs and the you know, the school. It's just really nice change. So it's been a, a, you know, an honor to be here and I'll be off and I'll be seeing Dan and Laura, but the rest of you, not so much. But so thank you to everybody and for all just being on school boards. Yeah. What a crazy position. You know, <laughs> when I ran years ago, it was like, you know, I didn't, I, well, I kind of maybe knew a little bit what I was getting into. But the ups and downs, and again, Springfield talk about ups and downs, it's just bonkers. So it's been cool, and so thank you all for your time and putting into your communities like that. Appreciate it. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. We can still say that. And uh, it's been another quick year. Halfway into the year, and Mary Lou, we're going to miss you. And uh, you'll always be close, close by. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, We'll start the new year raring and ready to go. Well, this is my last hurrah. And uh, it's been a pleasure serving here because, like you said, there's no, not a lot of attention. And at the local board level, you know, you run into a lot of, a lot of controversy and upset parents and no money and upset staff but you know here it's it's for the I mean I've been here I think all but one year since we joined Portage Lakes and it's just been a it's been a joy to come here so you're always welcome thank you <laughs> yeah I have book eyes for everybody so oh, yeah. oh my. Uh, <laughs> sweet <laughs> I didn't have time last yeah, year or last last month so <laughs> 
That's all I got. Okay. Laura? I just want to tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mary Lou. Oh, you're, you're, you're great welcome. Lady. And we're friends on Facebook, so. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Mary Lou, um, yeah, it's been, it, you've done a great, leaving a great legacy. Uh, I think the biggest one is that every November, uh, we'll expect <laughs> um, so, I mean, yeah, it, it's a tradition, and you started it yourself. So, I did, yeah, I did. Might so as we well need just to nominate keep you know, I don't know how, I don't know if anyone realizes how that started. <coughs> no. But our family had a dessert contest and on Thanksgiving, and my daughter, she started with having friends over on the Thursday, be, or the weekend before Thanksgiving, to test the desserts that she made to see which one was the best one that she would present them on Thanksgiving. And I and she says, well, we're going to have a dessert tasting. Um, I don't know what she called it. And I said, well, I'm going to have a dessert tasting extravaganza at the at Portage Lakes Career <laughs> Center. And those people will know which is the best. <laughs> so that's how that started. And it ended a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, kept, I just kept up the tradition, <laughs> so it was fun. Oh, that's awesome! Um, and you know, I, I would, I, I'd love to you know the Festival of Lights, all the stuff that we're doing community-wise. I think has been a great, cha a great enhancement to Portage Lakes, and I think I think you see that in the interest, not only on the kids side but the adult ed side. <laughs> and I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention um, the Ohio Gradings OGI is a Stark County uh, uh, company. And that they're, you know, that they're making donations here, and, and I know they're still a local, you know, the local family-owned company, um, and you know, for them to come up here, obviously, there's other people that are seeing the things that we're doing, and seeing that they're doing, they're doing it right, and then, uh, you know, and helping to support that. So, I think that's a, a huge feather in your cap. Other than that, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, and uh, Chris, it was great having you on, and uh, you know, who knows, maybe we'll see you back sometime. <laughs> Yeah. Circle back. <laughs> Being last, and I get the privilege of talking about Mary Lou. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> you knew this was happening. Mary Lou began her service at PLCC Board of Education member, representing Springfield in. Was it night? I, 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 I don't remember. 1992. I was going to say 91. Can you do okay. the math on that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mary Lou has given 30 years of tireless service to help the students of PLCC thrive and fulfill their potential. During Mary Lou's tenure, ten, tenure she served as BOE president in 94, 98, 2002, and 2006. Four-time president. Mary Lou has worked in three, with three treasurers, five superintendents, one interim superintendent while on the board here. In 1992, Springfield Vocational Programs merged with PLCC. In 2010, addition of an 11,541-square-foot of wing to house the health technology program. We're here under your tutelage. Logo and rebranding change in the 2010 went from the sailboat to our current <laughs> logo. High school enrollment in 1992 was 330 students. Today, our enrollment is 821. 600. 621. Wow. High school, wow. high school <laughs> students. Associate's degree, it was, option was added here. Adult ed enrollment has doubled. And I'm sure there are lots more that could add in. Board service is the toughest volunteer role, and you took on your board duties with dedication, diligence, and seriousness. You have played an instrumental role in guiding our mission with your insights and unique expertise. On behalf of the board, staff, students, and communities that we serve, we want to thank you for your extraordinary service, and we are grateful for the many, many hours you have given this district. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And we have something. Oh, dear. A little teeny tiny something. Yeah. A little tiny teeny. <laughs> That's for the Buckeyes we get later. <laughs> oh.
price is that? It's tied with right here. Okay. <laughs> it's over here. Okay. So it has your name and your years of service. And you don't know how much I love these blankets. <laughs> how soft they are, aren't they? Oh, they are. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so well, much. Thank you. Thank you. You know, um, I don't know how many people I served with over the years. Oh my. I, I couldn't, even even at Springfield, I couldn't, I tried to count them up one time and I couldn't remember. But, you know, I think there were very few people, I mean, I could count them on one hand, who were kind of adversary to, to our district when they become a board member mm -hmm. because they thought, you know, when you when you become a board member, you think, well, that's it. You know, I'm the board member, and oh, don't work that way. You know, you mm -hmm. work with other people, and you have to work right. with other people. Yeah. And I remember one time, and I'm thinking that it was Mr. Kleinschmidt mm -hmm. is when I name. came here, mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. was going to retire. And they were going to appoint a another an, an interim superintendent while he was still here. And I told him, I said, I don't think you can do that. You can, I said, auditors won't let us have two superintendents. Yeah. You know, and no one thought of that. And you know, it just popped into my head. So uh, we had an assistant superintendent mm -hmm. until he left. So. Yeah. Yeah, but things like that you learn as you grow. Yes. Yeah. But thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure serving with each one and every one of you. Thank you. Okay. And, then, and then I get to close off with, uh, it's the last meeting of the board. And uh, I'm done with being the president. And I get to pass that broad, <laughs> over to broad shoulders at the end down there. Uh, I'd like to thank Kim and all of her help. and and steadying me as the time goes on. And, and of course, Chris always whispering, going, you got to do this next. This has got to be the next. And so he was very good. And the board members, all of you, it was very nice. Nobody actually threw anything at me the whole time, uh, trying to keep everything going. Uh, I had several good experiences. When, when uh, The one time when we were, the uh, <laughs> seniors were coming through picking up things, we were standing out under a tent and it was raining yes. the whole time. Mm -hmm. But we were doing our due diligence and, and doing that and uh, we were, had our handouts for, uh, for different uh, things. And it, then I actually came to the graduation of the nurses mm -hmm. and uh, saw these, these kids, or they were actually young ladies and gentlemen, getting these scholarships to go on to further education. You just, uh, you, you always at these times, you, you wonder where they are going to be 10 years from now, or 10 years from now, you look back and you go, I wonder if I can find that person and see what's happened to them because you just know how much is going on there. Uh, the big thing was the fire and safety building was, was big. Uh, coming in and uh, it didn't know what, I got 20 seconds, and no, I, 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 see, I got a bunch of Boston's over here. I thought it was slow. <laughs> yeah. okay. And uh, so after, after all that, uh, as, as Santa says, uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, everyone have a very good New Year, and uh, hope to see you. I'll be seeing some of you later, but uh, next week or next 15th, 19th, 19th. I think it's 19th. and uh, good luck to all and to all a good night. Okay. Do we have a roll call, please, for this? Any motion? Second. So <laughs> can call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. McDonald. Yes. Mrs. McGraw? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mrs. Dodson? Yes. Mr. Hofer? Yes. Mr. Jividen? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Motion passes. Meeting is adjourned at 6.03. The next meeting is January 19th, 2023 at 6 p.m. Here we go. Thank you.
Thank you.